Amazon Fire Stick 4K right now. The look, you can, again, you can install IP Vanish VPN on any Fire device. So I'm, I'm gonna be doing this on, on my Amazon Fire Stick 4K. So from the main screen of the Fire Stick, as you have home highlighted on the top left, you wanna click left one time, and this will take you, you wanna highlight that magnifying glass on the top left corner. And in here, you wanna type in the word IP Vanish. This is the Amazon App Store, by the way, which you can download many free apps or paid apps from the Amazon App Store. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type IP. Normally you don't have to type in the entire word for the app that you wanna go ahead and install. Now as you can see, the Fire Stick is already suggesting IP Vanish on the bottom. You can go ahead and highlight that in white, IP Vanish. Once you have it highlighted, click OK. And now it's gonna show you that this is IP Vanish VPN under apps and games. It's gonna highlight it for you. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK one more time. Now for you at this part, once you click OK, the next page for you is going to, if you have, if you have not installed IP Vanish before on your Amazon Fire Stick or Fire Device, it's going to say get or download or download now. So you just click OK one more time. It's going to download and install, and then it's going to open up the app, which is going to look exactly just like this. So for you, for you, you first have to download and install the app before you go ahead and log in. And the way you sign up for the services to get a nice discount, again, go look in my description. I will have that sign up link right on top in the description, which will give you an automatic nice discount that's currently going on right now. They have a huge discount, honestly, right now. In the uh, February of 2021, which I'm recording right now, they have one of the biggest discounts I've ever seen they've provided before because I've been with them for so long. So they have an awesome deal if you're willing to pay for the annual plan. So with that being said, once you sign, once you download and install the app on your Amazon Fire Stick 4K, once you sign up, once you have your user ID and password, you will you will, you want to go ahead and open up IP Vanish on your Amazon Fire Stick, and here's what it, what it's going to look like. Now my visible location, your your visible location is always going to show on the top left. That shows your IP address and the city that you are currently in, wherever you live, whatever wherever whatever part of the world that you live in, whether you are in the United States or not. And then you wanna, what you want to do is you want to right click two times. Right now I'm not connected to their VPN service. So there's a reason for that. You want to go ahead and highlight the settings icon, which is that, we, that silver wheel on all the way on the top right. You want to highlight that and I'm going to show you guys how to properly set up your IP Vanish to get you going. And to, that way, once you set up, you can go ahead and connect and you'll be, you'll be protected 24 seven. So what I like, what I like to personally do, where it says start IP Vanish, you want to go ahead and check that box. You want you want that you want you want that checked. Under startup connection, in here you can choose do not automatically connect, or connect to the last connected server, or connect to fastest server. I like to leave it on automatically checked, which is connect to fastest server. Once normally that should be that that should be selected the third option by default. Then you click the back button one time, and then if you want, I like to personally. My, I want my VPN service to connect uh, to, re, to reconnect automatically just in case the connection drops. I don't want to have to go into my Fire Stick or my Fire device or any other device. I want it to automatically reconnect by itself to protect me 24/7. So you want that box checked. And then in here it says allow LAN, allow LAN access, which is local networks will not be routed through a through the VPN. I normally leave that unchecked, but uh, but I'll leave that up to you guys. I normally do not mess with that option. And then here's a very important option, split tunneling. What this actually does, as it says, choose apps that can connect to the internet without using the VPN tunnel. In other words, you can, you can choose the apps inside split tunneling that you want to be excluded from your VPN service. So you don't have to turn off your v VPN service for that reason. For example, some of the paid apps, there is no reason to use a VPN, not all of them, but some of them. I don't want to mention some because there's too many. So once you click on highlight split tunneling, you want to click OK. And now, once you click OK, you're going to see these options right here. You want to come down and you want to highlight user apps. I know it can barely seen. I wish they would make this a little bit darker. But I have user apps right now highlighted. As you can see, it's it becomes a little bit lighter once you have highlighted. And once you have highlighted that icon, and then you click OK. And now in here, you will see all of these apps that you have installed personally on your Amazon Fire Stick. For example, if you want to go ahead, for example, let's see. Now again, 
If you're using any third-party apps, I highly recommend using a VPN. So keep in mind, under split tunneling, whatever you check in here, it will not be going through a VPN. So for example, I mean, you just go down the list, and let's just for example, I have the Discovery Plus app. That does not require a VPN unless you are using it outside of the USA. The, uh, just as an example, and there's the downloader app, there's Fire Explorer, there's Fire Link, Firefox, Hulu, there's IP Vanish. So, I mean, I have a lot of various apps, so it's up to you whether which app you want to exclude from the VPN service so you don't turn off your VPN service. So, once you do that, once you check the boxes, check the apps that you do not want to go through your VPN service, you back up one time, and then here it says. Open application after connection. Uh, let's see, right in here. Actually, I'm gonna leave that alone. You don't need to mess with that. And then there's the scramble option. As it says, I like to check this box all the time on all of my devices. Basically, it's gonna scramble the internet to open VPN, allowing it to bypass network traffic sensors, which aim to detect usage of a VPN and block. In other words, certain apps, certain websites, they know that you are using a VPN. So to scramble the network and scramble traffic to kind of like hide, to, to not let them know that it's so obvious that you are that you are a v VPN user, you wanna check that box. I like to have it checked and I'll not leave it checked all the time. Um, under VPN protocol, I leave those the same. Under protocol, I leave those the same. The port, whatever IP Vanish has signed up, whatever port is given to your device, that's normally the best port that's possible from my knowledge. And this is about it under this section. So now you want to click the back button one time. And right here, now you want to go ahead all the way to the left. And you want to highlight the country. Again, I am located in the United States. Maybe you're not. Maybe you're in the UK. Maybe you're in Canada. Where, whatever parts of the world that you're in. You can select to connect to so many different countries. It's honestly unbelievable. I mean, there's Albania, Argentina, Australia, Austria, Belgium, Colombia, Chile, Canada, Bulgaria, Brazil. There is so many countries. So in here, I'm just gonna go ahead and select United States. Again, you can connect to the country of your choice. And then you can go ahead and select the city. Right now, normally by default, it's set up on best available for the city and best available server within that city that you choose. So I like to leave these by default to the best available, or you can go ahead and select uh, of course you want to select the close normally you want to select the closest city to your town to the part to whatever state that you live in so I'm gonna I normally c connect to maybe Ashburn or Chicago for you it might be different wherever you are located in the United States so one, let's, I'm just gonna select Chicago and then here where's the server I'm gonna go ahead and click on it's best available and then here you can see that Chicago where it's a CHI A01 that's Chicago server number one. And if you look to the far right where it says 22 MS, that, that is the ping to that server. Normally you want to connect to the fastest possible server within that city. So 22 milliseconds, it's fast. But if you see something um, a, lot, a, faster, a bit faster, like 21 milliseconds, you want to click on that. Or even better, 20 milliseconds. Or, I mean, the, le the lower the number, the faster the connection is going to be. So I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see, I'm going to go ahead and click on best available server under under the city. And that's about it, guys. So now, once you set up your IPVanish VPN service app on your Amazon Fire Stick or your device, you want to select the best city and the best server and the country of your choice. You go ahead and click connect. And now you will see, once you are connected, on the bottom left is going to show how long, how long you have been connected for. Zero hours and zero minutes, because I just connected right now. And you can see the green bars scrolling from the right to the left and how much data is going through download and upload, which is pretty cool. And that's about it. So again, if you guys have signed up for IP Vanish or you need to sign up right now, go ahead and click on the link in the description for a huge discount at this time, as the discount will be applied automatically as soon as you click on the link. Once you do that, I've just ba basically showed you how to download, install, and how to properly set up your IP Vanish account or app on your Amazon device and is fairly similar on a computer or a cell phone or a tablet. So again, and what's really nice about IPVanish, one feature I truly love, they have over 75 servers worldwide. Not only that, you can use it on all of your devices. You can use it on, as a matter of fact, you can use it on, you can use it with unlimited traffic on unlimited devices, which is amazing because normally there is a limit 
on how many devices you can connect, you can connect to a VPN service, which are similar to IP Vanish, but I believe in my opinion that are not as good. But IP Vanish is the way to go. I highly recommend it. And I have been personally using it on all of my devices for a long time now. So I thought I want to make a, a dedicated video for IP Vanish VPN, which is totally awesome. It's one of the best VPNs you can ever sign up for. So, so with that being said, if you guys are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel, if you have, if I have showed you any benefit in this video at all, do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon next to it to be up to, to get notifications in the future for latest videos and updates. And also hit that like button and please share it on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wh whatever social media accounts that you have. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. If you got, and if you guys have any questions, drop me a line below and the drop me a line below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Other than that, you guys have a nice evening and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.